It's Friday. And that means it's 702 Unplugged. It's 24 minutes to uh, 3 o'clock. It's very few... Uh, opportunities, very few times in life where you get to meet someone who inspires you. So I've had the privilege of meeting Olita Adams uh, once before. This is my second time. And maybe the first time I was a little bit too starstruck. So I plan to make this one count. (laughs) I plan to make it count. (laughs) Welcome back to South Africa. Thank you so much. It's great being here. Yes. And And this is what, your fourth or fifth time? My fifth time, yes. So uh, this, you, you must love us. We we are an engaged audience. We Absolutely. are. We love our music. Oh, I know that. That's <laughs> why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a show coming up tomorrow as part of the journey, the road leading up to the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz. Yes. Does this suggest you'll be on the bill? Yes. Later? Does this suggest you'll be back on the bill? Well, uh, who knows? Because that's later on in the year. Isn't yes. It? Yes. Oh, well, you never know. You never know. We've got our fingers crossed. Right. You never so, know. It's wonderful to have you here. I was just reflecting on the songs that have been a source of inspiration and upliftment at different times in my life. And we played a snippet of Get Here mm-hmm. a little bit earlier on. Mm-hmm. So Brenda Russell wrote that song, recorded yes. it, and it had a bit of a lukewarm reception. So what made you pick it up? Because your recording went on to chart in US uh, 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 charts as well as um, uh, UK music charts. So what do you think What was different? The church in me. (laughs) (laughs) The church in me. (laughs) Uh, There is just a lot of yearning, and I I love. uh, I love that song. I. Uh, my boyfriend at the time, my husband now, <laughs> sent it to me when I was in uh, Scandinavia playing piano bar. Mm-hmm. And when I heard that in a dress shop, I went, oh, wow, I love that song. And then we learned it when I got home and I started playing it in my on my gig. And mm-hmm. and then, you know, we had it in the first set at first and then we moved it to the last set because we would play we would play that song for like 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Going, I, oh, my goodness. I don't care. I don't care enough already yeah. <laughs> and, and i i felt like it became mine and it just it suited did. it sat well in my throat and in my heart and i felt the yearning and that's what it is mm. there's a deep longing and yearning for someone who that you love and there and of course it was released during the time of desert storm yes and uh, i still meet people all the time who will tell me how there's one lady who said that the first time she heard the song during that period she was on the bus and mm-hmm. when the radio started playing it she started crying so hard she had to get off the bus wow. and her her uh, sweetheart was in service in the military and and uh, I've met some of those guys who were in the military. I've received cups that said Desert Storm. Mm. I've uh, listened to people say that they got married to that song or they buried a love song, a yes. loved one with that, uh, you know, while the music is playing or that a child was being born when they played that song. And, you know, that's what you hope, that at least you can have something mm. that will be remembered as a classic absolutely for many many years longevity is something that's not easy to have you can be very talented mm. but it's not always that you will be remembered more than a year or two unless you give them something that's extra special yes oh and you've done that with so many of your songs but you talk about the church in you Elio was talking about imagining this little olita who whose father is a minister and there's all this church singing and you got to sing in church you were leading yeah. choirs in mm-hmm. your teens mm-hmm. that's incredible yeah, I was 11 years old with 11. with four choirs, right? <laughs> I played for the services as well as doing some things in school, you know, and so my vocal range went from low to very high and I thought that I would be trained I was trained classically as a lyric soprano and I thought that that's the direction that I would go, but my mentor said, mm, "I think it's the chest voice that's going to do it for you." Right. And she stuck with me. She stopped teaching school. And uh, she stuck with me until 93 when she passed on. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I'm very grateful to her because she taught me a lot about the business, about how to keep my voice singing these different styles of music and uh, a lot of wisdom about the business and how to be a woman 
in this business and mm. uh, a leader, mm-hmm. a band leader, how to read music and write music, how to notate music, how to treat band members, all of that good stuff I learned from her. So I'm very grateful. Yes. Oh, great mentor from the sounds of things. So is that why there is this affinity and connection that you feel to Smongile Kumalo? Because she also has that classical training, even though she enjoys or records jazz in the main. What an intriguing voice. Yes. Such clarity the, the, the and the vocal agility that she has and her love for jazz. You know, what a beautiful soul. Mm-hmm. And um, I like good music. And there are a lot of great uh, musicians here in this country. Uh, I had the, the first musician I met, uh, a wonderful singer. I love her because she's pint size like me with <laughs> Rebecca Malope. <laughs> and, 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 Praise God. You know, and she has this big voice and she was like, <laughs> yes. it was great. And we sang together on that first time and we put her up, set her up on the piano. <laughs> and we had such a great time and I got a chance to meet Judith Sapuma also, and and what a lovely voice she has. Yes. And so I mean, we're meeting more and more people in our Wanda. I can Wanda's here. To, Wanda Bulu is here. I can hardly wait to <laughs> hear her live. This is going to be fun. Come say hi quickly, Luena, because yes, you'll be a uh, part of the hi. performance that's happening tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. I just had a moment with um, Alina earlier on, and I feel like I've known her forever. Like, yes. <laughs> which is chatting. I and walked in and you guys are like yeah, gone in conversation. We, we were deep in there. <laughs> and I feel like it's it's so important to have a connection before going on stage and, and, and giving off your, your craft because it's there's that bond that you've kind of created and broken that ice before the yes. performance. So I'm so honored to have met her. I'm glad you could use my show to hijack. <laughs> to hijack the show so that you could break this ice. Plus I'm we, glad. Plus we found out that our birthdays are two days of heart. Yes. So mine is on the 4th of I'm May. I'm on the 6th. She's on oh, the 6th. How yeah. about that? Hey, wow. Look it's at the stars. It's that's a lot of Taurus the bull in yeah. here. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> so Wanda will be there tomorrow as well. Mm. I thought we'd lost you to DJing. She mm. got a crazy idea in her mind last year that she wanted to go into <laughs> DJing. But I'm, I'm glad she's back into her music and performing. So let's look at this Tears for Fears uh, um, uh, collaboration relationship. Because you were, they saw you perform in a bar Mm -hmm. in Kansas Mm -hmm. the deals weren't coming through after you'd moved to LA and Mm -hmm. then someone said go to Kansas of all places well I followed the music and you live there now yeah oh yes I've been living there uh, ever since I haven't moved because it's right in the center of the country there's more bang for the buck Uh uh and uh, the people are very nice it's it's easy to live there especially if you travel and you can go like this Mm -hmm. from coast to coast and in the middle and so forth but um I I was very fortunate to, uh, I didn't meet them at the time when they were there. They were performing in town and staying at the hotel where I was working. I did not meet them, but they were moved to tears by the music. John was playing drums for me, and we had another bass player. I was playing piano. I went home. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what's a British pop group going to do for me? He told me, (laughs) John said, you know, Tears for Fears is here. I said, that's nice. You know, I went home. Two years later, they called the hotel and asked, you know, where do I find Olita? And they found out through my agent at that time. And they called me up on the phone and told me what I had sung uh, when they heard me and uh, said that they had a song they wanted me to sing. And they wanted me to put that same kind of emotion into Woman in Chains. Yes. And the next year I recorded with them. With Phil Collins on the drums. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Oh, absolutely. And then I went on, did my own thing, and they called me back. And I ended up getting a record deal because of the work that I did with them. Mm. And Mm. the rest is history. Quite a turning point. Mm -hmm. And so it is. Well, we'll chat some more, but I'm seeing this demand can you stop talking and get to the music? (laughs) (laughs) So we'll set up, we'll set up in the meantime. Please take a look at the performance happening live in the studio. Olita Adams is here. She'll be performing as part of the Journey to the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz, which happens later on in the year.
year. So we are marching closer and closer. There'll be these flashpoints of uh, uh, reminding you of highlighting the joy of jazz coming up later. So tomorrow at the Pavilion within the Santon Convention Center, the 27th of April, you can expect to experience the soulful music legend on stage alongside Wanda Baloy. Welcome to 702. 702. Unplugged. One thing that can't be conceived When we're alone I can't feel the emotion That'll bring me close to you I don't know It's not that easy to do Cause my heart won't lie It's no good to even try No heart won't lie when I'm with you
in my heart won't lie. next one <laughs> then we can wrap up after that let's rather squeeze in one more <laughs> yes can we can we 702 <laughs> unplugged yeah they still have to come to the program yes. i've got my tickets ready <laughs> be there 702 702 unplugged uh, let me see here uh Just a little. You'll have to come for the rest of it. You can reach me by railway. You can reach me by trailway. You can reach me on an airplane. You can reach me with your mind. My life is made. <laughs> Not just my day, my life is made. It's going to be even more made tomorrow. So the 27th, Friday, Olita Adams alongside Wanda Baloy will be performing at uh, Santon Convention Center, the pavilion. That's the auditorium where they'll be on stage. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. I've got messages for you. Rile Bukhile says, please tell Olita Adams. She's tagged you, so you'll see it on your Twitter timeline. Her music got me through my aunt's passing, crying in the car right now. Oh. So it brought her, it brought her back to that healing, and they're just so many compliments. Thank Such you. a beautiful voice. Um, one says, "Olita Adams, it's been uh, exciting hearing you perform. Awesome talent, indeed, beautiful." And so it goes. But that first song, the one that you played, mm-hmm. you had vowed or said that you're not going to get married, mm-hmm. but then you're married. <laughs> what changed? Yes, you know, uh, I actually wrote that. Um uh, I, I wrote that about my husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you see other people. I didn't date a whole lot, but 
there are other people that you meet and you're like, hmm, maybe this would be a better fit and so forth. You know, they this, they do that, they whatever. But I think from the moment we first met, it was destined for us to be together. John, he, you know, my heart would not lie. He wouldn't go away either. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he, here with us as well. If you want to see a man me. blush, that's <laughs> happening right now. He would not go away. We were meant to be together. My heart won't lie. I'm, I am madly in love with this man. Mm-hmm. No, it, 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 24 years this year yeah. in October it yeah. will have been that we have been married and uh, I once thought I would not ever marry but then all of a sudden it was like I was struck by lightning and, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm glad I did uh, I'm sure wow so because uh, there was that what seven years before you released and thankfully we have your most recent album which came out last year yes and Yes, the Lord knows we had waited a long time. Yes, you did. I apologize. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But thank you so much. We look forward to tomorrow's performance. Thank you. So it's at the Santon Convention Center, not missing it for anything else in the world. But thank you for honoring our invitation this afternoon. My pleasure.